United Kingdom. Ugh. I hear Eurovision and the United Kingdom and I get scared. I think I'm still trying to get the awful taste of Electro Velvet out of my mouth from 2015. So, how will the United Kingdom fare this year? The United Kingdom will be represented in 2017 by Lucy Jones. Lucy Jones will be singing the song titled, Never Give Up On You. If I had to pick one word to describe the song, it would be Lighthouse. Does that really make sense? Well, I believe the singer is the light in the darkness to whomever she is reaching out to in the song. It makes sense to me. There are many good things about this song. Lucy Jones has a very powerful and emotional voice. She has incredible range that goes between delicate to powerhouse, and she is, so far, one of the best singers I have reviewed. The song builds up more steam and power as it progresses, similar to a hurricane. It has that powerful moment when she is singing trying to convince the target that she is by their side always. The song also has a winning pedigree. Emily de Forest, Danish winner of Eurovision 2013 with the song Only Teardrops, was one of the songwriters on Never Give Up On You. So that's an interesting fact. The bad? There's not too many bad things, but I, I wonder if this song is memorable enough to win Eurovision. It does have its moments, its highs, its lows. I know placement in the finals has a lot to do with it. Luck of the draw, where your song is actually debuted in the finals. I think a song like this is doomed if it's in the first half. But towards the end, it could benefit significantly if the song is second or third to last. I expect it to do very well with the jury, but the televoter score will be where I worry about it the most. It could be this year's 2016 Czech Republic, an incredible singer with one of the year's best voices that gets a little love from the jury but fails to win the hearts of the public. This is my fear, but I could be wrong. My reaction? I like this song a lot. Will it be viewed as a strong ballad or just another ballad? That's a question that I have. As for me, I enjoy listening to it. Is it a song I'm going to want to listen to every day? No, that's not necessary. I, I do remember it. I don't feel the need to listen to it every day, but I enjoy it when I do hear it. So I am really looking forward to hearing this song live. As far as my rating, I'm going to give this 3 out of 4 stars. It's a good, solid, and strong song. It's very easy to listen to, and she has an incredible voice. It's emotional, passionate, 